Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm going to be doing another general energy reading for you. Hope you're excited. I've already cleansed my Kamai healing spray, so I'm gonna go ahead and start shuffling my cards. So I hope you guys have been well. Um, thank you so much for booking all of your personal readings with me as well as all your tips. All of that has helped me out so, so much. So like I said in the other two videos that I've already filmed today, this is the last weekend that I'm doing two videos a day. Um, just to give you guys a heads up, I am starting my next job on August 30th. So I just won't have the time to be uploading multiple videos a day anymore. Um, if in some time in the future, I'm able to get a better handle on what my workload looks like. If I'm eventually able to upload multiple videos again, I'll definitely keep you guys in the loop on that. But until then, um, the best way to get more content for me, um, especially if you want a personal reading is through booking a personal reading. Um, all that information is in the down box below for you. Um, you can book on my website as well as I do have DM only services on Instagram and Twitter. So I think we are good on shuffling. Let's go ahead and see what's going on with the collective. Oop, there we go. All right, so the first three cards. First off, we have the devil. So I think someone is definitely dealing with addictions and toxic um, cycles and their shadow self and not really knowing, you know, what's going to come next for them. Um, with the world card here, they're really focused on closing out that toxicity, though, um, trying to learn and grow from those past issues, past toxic ways that kept them stuck. And we have the nine of cups here and then really just working on building up their own confidence to go after their dreams and what they truly want in life. So I like that. It's a really great energy to start out with. Let's get a few more cards. There we go. So first off, we have the everything is fine card, and this one actually came out in the struggle position. So this person is definitely struggling with appearing that everything is fine. They're trying to pretend that they're not hurting and they're not as lost and as in despair um, as they actually are on the inside. I think this person is definitely putting up a facade. This girl is holding a phone in her hand. So definitely putting up a, so a facade on social media. So to the rest of the world, no one knows that this person is suffering, um, but inside everything really is not fine. Um, this person is seeking justice with the justice card here. This person is trying to find balance and alignment within their own selves. Um, I think they truly are accepting this devilish shadow toxic part of themselves and trying to figure out how to get justice within themselves and come again into alignment in what they want for themselves so they can go after their dreams again with the nine of cups. So with the Knight of Wands here, this person is definitely following their passions, trying to be creative, trying to work on new projects and trying to just spearhead themselves into the future to get those things that they want, almost being a little too impulsive um, with making these decisions. Um, but at this moment, you know, they're just truly following their heart and trying to follow their passions and where that lies. Yep, with the magician at the bottom of the deck, this person is definitely manifesting a new beginning, manifesting, you know, their dreams coming true, trying to create a beautiful, abundant new start for themselves. With the nine of swords under that, this person has definitely had issues sleeping at night, lots of nightmares, lots of night terrors, trying to figure out, you know, why they did the things that they did in the past and you know those things now are haunting them so this is forcing them to truly heal that part of themselves with the chariot here this person is definitely ready to move forward um, ready to come into balance ready to decide and be more confident in the direction their life is heading with the two of pentacles here they're really working on prioritization and knowing that they're investing in the right people and the right things with the Page of Wands, they've recognized their own immaturities and know that they need to change and not be too impulsive. And then under that, we have the Four of Swords. So this person is just taking that time to really rest and recuperate and learn and heal so that they can grow to become the best possible versions of themselves. So I love that. 
So I think this is very similar to one of the other readings that I did recently. Um, this is more about, you know, healing internal conflict so that you can move on to a better, more positive chapter of your life. So with that said, I think we're just going to tap into my Work Your Light Oracle deck again. So we'll check in with your spirit guides and see what your spirit guides um, want you to know right now. So spirit, what does my collective need to know about their current circumstances? Uh, I know a lot of people are working on healing and trying to get to this next positive chapter in their life. What do they need to know right now to help guide them on their journey? Please let us know. Okay, let's go ahead and just get a couple cards and then we'll see what's going on. That's way too many. Oh, it's that one. Let's get one or two more. Okay, there's two more. So about three total. So first off, we have, you're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true no north. So like I said, if you are already doing those, this work, if you are already in um, this Four of Swords energy, if you're already manifesting, if you're already in this energy of knowing that you have to change your ways, you know, you're already doing it. You're well on your way to following your soul's true path and doing what you need to do, what needs to be done to get you into this new positive chapter of your life. Next is soul family, call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. So this is about, you know, leaning on the people in your life that truly have your best interests at heart, um, finding what friends, what family members, who truly loves you and wants to support you on this journey that you're going through right now. I know it's hard when you're going through some really tough times and lots of conflict is going on and you don't know who to trust. So this is about tuning into your intuition and knowing who to call upon, who's going to help you and not judge you in your situation. A lot of the times we end up leaning on the wrong people and that's what causes us to continue to veer off um, onto the wrong paths. So this is about really trusting yourself and really taking a step back and observing the relationships that you have with certain people to understand who is your true soul family, who is truly going to have your best interests at heart. And sometimes, you know, your soul family isn't your actual family members. Sometimes your soul family are people that you know, you either barely know or they're very new to your life, but you have a stronger and more stable connection with these new people who enter your life than people that you've known your entire life. So definitely take that as it resonates. And lastly, the ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. So this to me is giving, giving me like judgment card um, vibes. So I feel like you are definitely going through some spiritual awakening right now. I think your eyes are fully wide open. You are cracked open right now and really learning about yourself and all of the hurt and the pain that you've gone through. Uh, by going into your past and reflecting on everything, things will really start truly aligning for you. Um, I went through my dark night of the soul and it was a crazy um, awakening period for me where I went through a lot of darkness. I had to go through and really think about all the different chapters of my life. But in the end, I came out of it for the better and I learned so much more about myself and I truly see every single chapter of my life, you know, they help bring me to where I am today. So just definitely keep in mind that things are happening for you, not to you. So even though right now you're in a pit of despair and you don't know what is going and you don't know what's coming for you, know that this period of your life is a period of transformation and is bringing you closer to where you are meant to be, um, what your soul's true path is. Um, just stay on the path and, you know, keep working through it. Don't give up. Um, there is light at the end of the tunnel. So that is it for today's reading. Hopefully it resonated and you guys enjoyed it. If anything did resonate, please do thumbs up the video. That is the best way to energetically donate to the channel as well as help get our videos out to more and more viewers. Um, if you are brand new and anything resonated, hopefully you do decide to subscribe today. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to also hit the bell button so that you get notified of when I upload a new video. So that is it. Thank you guys as always so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the later one. Bye guys.